Hey there. I didn't saw you. How are you? Good, 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 good. That's amazing. First of all, let me put you straight. Okay. That's much better, isn't it? So, are you here for to plan out a travel? Are you here to search for your destination or for activities or just everything together? To search a destination? Okay, it's fine. That is completely fine. Okay, let me look. Here, in front of me, I have the map of the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, do you have any idea where you'd be interested in going to? You're not sure? Okay. I will first ask you some questions, then I can like say, hmm, you are interested in this or you're interested in this. You got it? Yeah. Oh no, it won't take long. So first of all... What mode of transport will you be using? Will you go with the car? With the car, with the car? car. With the airplane? Mm -hmm. With a boat or a cruise ship? Okay. Or with a train? Mm -hmm. okay. With the plane? Yes. It is indeed the mode of transportation that people like to use the most. Got it, the train. Okay, let's stop. Now you might be thinking, what is this? This here is to determine how many days you will stay. We got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. But you can also go like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You know what to do. How many days are you planning to stay? Is it a long vacation, like two weeks almost? Or is it a short week, like five days? Maybe four days? Okay. Not that long? Okay, perfect. Then, lastly, but most importantly, what do you want to go to? Do you want to go to the beach, sit down, relax, have a nice drink? Or would you be more like interested in like going for a hike? Maybe even skiing, climbing, climbing a big mountain. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one is if you're a city person, you want to explore the city, you want to see what they have. Or food and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Then we have a cruise ship. Mm -hmm. Are you not afraid of water? Do you not get motion sickness? I would recommend this. It's very nice, very luxurious. But yes, if you get motion sick, I would not recommend this unless you take like medicine for it, but still. And next up, are you more into attractions? You want to go to a roller coaster park, Disneyland, perhaps, or Universal Studios? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what will it be for you? Okay. Want to go to the city? Okay. Let me show you something. Oh. It is a bit windy in there. Okay. So on the map, we have here the USA. They have lots of roller coasters. They have lots of attraction parks, but they also have very, very big cities. So if you were interested in roller coasters and the city together, I would go. Here, like for example, 
um, for the big city, you could go to New York. It's always a big city, New York. Or if you're a bit more into more thrill, or like have a lot of money to spare, go to Las Vegas. Try your luck. To be honest, I don't recommend it for anyone under 18 or 21 in some countries. Please only gamble if you have the money to lose. But it's fun. But don't do it. And next up, we have, you see it here? France. France. You can go to Paris. Ile de Paris. Mm -hmm. It's very nice when it's night, when the lights are on, when you see Tour de Fel or Eiffel Tower. I don't know how we say the French or in English, to be honest. It's pretty nice. It's so, I was there two years ago. No, one year, what, one and a half years ago, and it was impeccable, it was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Next up, if you're interested in maybe some more like street food, night culture, perhaps you could go to Korea. I heard they have pretty good markets with like amazing street food. And it doesn't cost that much. Same goes to Japan and China. So those Asian countries have amazing food. And they are not that expensive actually. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. Have you made your decision? You have? Okay. Perfect. And if you haven't, that's alright. You can still change your mind. Just text it to me. Bye. Maybe next week the week after that and we will come back and set some activities make an itinerary for you okay thank you bye bye